Hi, welcome to Nina in the Kitchen, where today I am making a delicious and simple, very simple Greek soup. I know I'm going to butcher this word, avolemano. <laughs> it's a Greek lemon soup. And if you've never had it, you're missing out. You absolutely are. And what's nice about this is it's not only delicious hot, but it's delicious cold or room temperature, and it goes together in minutes. You can have this on your table in 20 minutes. So here we go. I'm using six cups of homemade chicken stock. However, if you don't have homemade, you can buy store-bought, but then you're going to want to absolutely add this so that you get more flavor out of it. This is mirepoix. Mirepoix is equal amounts of onion, celery, and carrot. When you make mirepoix for something, because it goes into so many dishes, soups, stews, stuffed vegetables, crab cakes, whenever I make it, I make a boatload of it, and then that way I have extra. So this is cooked. I will put it in one third cup measure or whatever size you like, put it in a piece of plastic, I wrap it up and I freeze this in little Ziploc baggies. This will add a lot of flavor to a store-bought stock, so it's a great thing to do. And also add a bay leaf if you're doing store-bought stock. The other ingredients for this is long grain rice. This is a long grain basmati rice. I have rinsed the starch off of this in a fine mesh strainer and then let it dry. And you can use any long grain rice that you like um, I would not use an instant rice. It'll just fall apart in here. I have juice from one lemon. This was one juicy lemon. That's about four tablespoons right there. Parsley just to finish. And then this is three egg yolks. Now you can use whole egg if you like, but with egg yolk, it comes out rich and creamy and so delicious. So then after that, it's just salt and pepper. So let's get started. Extra virgin olive oil goes in. Now this mirepoix has already been cooked, so I'm just going to drop the bay leaf. Put my mirepoix in, and because that's already cooked, I'm just going in with the chicken stock. If your mirepoix is not cooked, you want to bring that mirepoix up so that it's warm and it's cooking, but you do not want to put color on it. So you're going to do what's called sweating the, the vegetables. Just like us, when vegetables sweat they get wet and become very fragrant and that's how you know you're done so even if it's not quite cooked all the way go ahead and add your chicken stock to that you want to bring the soup up to a boil and then we'll take it from there okay we have boilage i'm going to just add the rice all at once and just give this a stir when it comes back to a boil just reduce it to a simmer and let the rice cook for until it's done. Um, the last time I made this, amazingly, it seems like the rice doesn't take as long as it does when I do my normal steamed rice. Um, I want to say it was about 12 to 15 minutes, as I recall. So we'll see. But just keep an eye on it. I'm reducing it down, and we'll have soup in just a few minutes. This is what I mean by a simmer. You just don't want to boil it hard and this apparatus will cycle so you'll see it come back up. But just a light simmer like that. And now this is where I want to taste it because any starch that goes into a soup, whether it's potato or rice or pasta, will absorb the seasoning. That's how it's seasoned. So just make sure at this point that your seasoning is where you want it. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper and that way the rice will be seasoned, the soup will be seasoned, and in 12 to 15 minutes, we'll be eating. This is done, and I have taken it off the heat. I am removing the bay leaf, and now what you wanna do is get those eggs in there without scrambling them. So here's what you do. I have the three egg yolks in here. I'm going to put the lemon in there, the lemon juice and then some of this soup. This is called tempering. You just break this up. Now the egg yolks have been warmed up and introduced to heat, but gently. 
and I don't see any streaks of egg yolk in there. So this just goes right into the soup. And that's it. Look at this beautiful soup. It looks like you put cream in here, but as you know, there's no cream. I'm going to finish it with a little bit of minced parsley. That's the dish. It's so easy and unique and very delicious. I'll taste it for you. Well, here it is. I love everything about this soup. The rice adds a great texture to it. The chicken stock or broth is so comforting and the lemon brightens it up. At first, when you eat it, it's delicious. By the end of the bowl, you'll be going back for more and it's 20 minutes. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you try this. Please let me know if you do. Like and subscribe and I'll see you again. Bye guys.